Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and SSSN series. In today's question, we'll see how to find the land use area which might be affect future flood, tsunami or any disasters. Like here, I have prepared two land use map. This is for 2004 for the South Andaman area. Okay. So 2004 land use map is there and this is the 2022 land use map. So there was a great tsunami in 2004 this is affected by some area okay so i have one paper in that it is shown this is the tsunami affected areas in 2004 so we have taken that area so i will give this paper link in the description box okay so you can access this and uh, what you can able to do you can follow this technique in your area so how you can able to get the area which might be affected in future okay so this area is affected by in past so if we'll take the same scenario in present case okay so this is the condition for 2004 okay and if the same tsunami occur in 2022 with the same magnitude so how much area it might be affect so we can see the land use change from 2004 to 2022. So this much of land use change is there and we can able to find out how much area is under the risk. Okay. So this is the 2004 area which is affected. So for that, what you can able to do, you can just take this and you can just uh, georeference this. Okay. And you can digitize this area. After digitizing this area, it will directly come to this place. Okay, after it coming to the place, you can able to calculate the area for 2004 and 2022. So like I will calculate for the 2022. So for that, what we can able to do, we just need to, we just need to go to spatial analysis tool, extraction and extract by mask is there. So just I will take this 2022 image and this south andaman inundation area i will add so just select it and drag it then where i want to save this so we can provide a location but i will go by default just click on ok So now we have extracted this. Okay. So this land use area we can now calculate. Okay. So for that, we just need to convert this conversion tool from raster to polygon. And we can able to calculate the area for this. On the basis of this class name, I will provide the output location, but just I will go by default and I'll just click on okay. So after that, you can able to see we have converted to polygon. Now we can dissolve this on the basis of this class name field. So just go to geoprocessing. And click on the dissolve. And add this. Then on the basis of this class name and grid code, I just want to dissolve. Just click on OK. Just add a new field here, area, then float, okay. Then select this, right click, go to calculate geometry and check the square kilometer and click on okay. So now you can able to see, this is the built up area is coming this much of percentage and forest area is coming this much of percentage. You can do the same thing with the 2004 or before flood and after flood you can prepare the map and you can able to see how much area is coming under risk okay 
So the area which is already hit by 2004 tsunami, so this much of area is already, we know, under the risk due to 2004 tsunami and we can check the land use area in the same portion. So from that we can able to get that previously there was a less built up area and now built up area is increased. So we can say that the due to increase in the built up area, this much of area is under risk. Okay. So this way, very easily you can apply this technique with the flood or with tsunami or any cyclone data you have. So there are many different different disasters is there. You can take pre image and post image and from that you can able to get some conclusion from this. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.